Between the next times, everything on Mitch's is Mitch Reviews, everything, and this is another beer review. Oh my goodness, from Abomination Brewing Company, Shotgun Sour. And we're just going to take a look at this can. Shotgun Sour, and there is the theme, a shotgun-esque wedding with an abomination holding some skulls. This artwork is just crazy. Um, I don't... I think I've had anything from this company. There's the company symbol, a little abomination with horns and fangs. Uh, it's kind of hard to see there. Let's go over the can a little bit more. Brewed and canned by, brewed and canned by the Great South Bay Brewing, Bay Shore, New York, for Abomination Brewing Company. So they brew it at their their uh, brewery. Um, this art is by an artist that looks like called Henzi. Called, they're called Henzi. Um, yes, yeah, it's a one-point can. The alcohol volume is 6.1, alcohol by volume. Uh, just, this is just a crazy beer to me. Um, everything's crazy about it. They are right. They are spot on. Abomination. I mean, it's a shotgun sour. Sour ale with black currant, apricot, and peach. That is maddening. I have no idea what to expect from this. Oh my goodness, it is red. Wow, everybody. Ha <laughs> ha! What are we getting into today? Nothing good. Oh my goodness gracious! I never expected that. That is even the foam is just pink. What are we drinking? This is an abomination! My God! It's just ruby red. Everybody in the light. Sorry, I can't get a good angle, but that is ruby red. A hazy, you can't see through it, red. Ruby red with a pink foam top. Wow. <sighs> Smells more weedy than I thought. <sighs> getting a lot of wheat. I don't detect any peach in this smell. Maybe my smell's going bad, but I'm only detecting like a fruity notes. Not as strong smelling as I anticipated after the pour. Just pretty fruity notes, but let's give this a taste. I was on I was smelling like wheat and fruit. Like almost reminds me of like like a berry shandy smell is what I would describe it, but I'm not really smelling that peach that they're talking about, but uh Let's top her off just enough. Let's get it stirred up again and let's go. Ooh, that's carbonated. Highly carbonated. I don't drink too many sour beers. Mostly because there's not a whole lot in my area, probably. Not that this style, it's tart, really tart. I'll get back to my commentary there, but tart, I want to get to the taste because that's what you're here for. That's tart, not overly, overly tart. Um, it has like an apric. Honestly, I would never guess peach anywhere. I don't detect peach anywhere. It says apricot. And it is. It's it's pretty sour, not pungent pungent sour, but has that sour aftertaste. If somebody asked me what this is, I would say, and I was blindfolded and looked at this, I I would say like a berry, um, I would say a berry. That would be my like a a wild berry, wild berries and apple. I do not taste peach. And the apricot, I guess. Apricot's not something I really in my diet too much. So maybe I don't I'm not accustomed to it. Maybe what I'm thinking is berry is the apricot. But I this is pretty sour, pretty tart. For me it tastes like wild berry and apples. Um this is one of those beers you're not gonna drink. 
<laughs> you want to talk about beer you're not going to session out? Nah. It's too tart. It's too sour. It's something different. That's for sure. You want to surprise some people with something different. This is where this is at. This is a real shock value. Um, you know, not shocking, shocking, but the can is pretty crazy. You know, the artwork uh, this artist did. I've never had anything else from this brewing company. I actually couldn't find out too much about them. Their website, it seems like it's down, or at least it's down today, when I tried to look up anything about it. Um, this beer isn't for me. Not for me. Um, I'll finish this one. I bought it as a single. It was really expensive. This beer was like $8 for a single. So it's crazy. I, I wouldn't buy this again. Not, not my favorite, but uh, not saying it's bad. Not saying it's gross, but this is definitely a unique taste. This is definitely like, this is an acquired taste, that's for sure. Don't taste, I don't know, it's just not for me. It's too tart, too sour, too too berry-like for me. For some reason, I'm just getting such a high, high test taste of berry um, flavor. And I don't detect that peach. That peach must be super subtle. Maybe I can't get it on my taste buds. Maybe you can, but just not for me. Um, that's really all I have. I'll try another one of their beers. Why not? Uh, I enjoyed doing the beer review, and I will see you again. This is Mitch, and I will pucker up, I guess, for another sip of this. You have a good one.